me again. Um, are you alright? Freezing. Yeah, you do look practically frozen. I won't do. Here, I brought this blanket for you. I thought you looked cold last time I visited, so I hope it helps. <laughs> there you go. Nice and cozy. Hold it tight, you should start feeling better. How are you? It's been a couple days since we last saw each other, and I'm sorry about that. I look, I would have come sooner, but let's just say that the rest of the clan weren't very receptive to my ideas on improving your accommodations. Plus, there's a minimum two day waiting period between feeding us on prisoners. I couldn't come sooner without arousing suspicion. They must think I was quite taken by my first one. <laughs> no, they think I'm feeding on one of the prisoners further down the list. Suppose it's their lucky night that they won't get fed on for a while now. <laughs> no. Oh, I, did, I didn't think just to come in for a blanket, though. Ah, you can already smell it. <laughs> Here. It's a freshly cooked chicken wing, as well as some buttered bread, grapes, and freshly squeezed orange juice. It's what you deserve. And I'm really, really thankful for what you did for me. Letting me take my time whilst feeding upon you. Moving at my own pace. Any other prisoner would have put up a fight, but you were very considerate, and it means a lot. Especially considering what I was doing to you. Look, even if I wasn't as aggressive as the others. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're the only one who's shown me any kind of kindness since I got here. <laughs> You're the only one who's shown me literally anything. And I really do appreciate it. A lot. <laughs> Look at me. Though I'm babbling away. Please, dig in. Fill up your stomach, eat. And don't worry, this is the first of many meals that will be coming your way. <laughs> and I'd bring some for the rest of the prisoners, but it was difficult enough just getting yours. But don't worry, alright? This is the first... Of many, and I will keep doing this. <laughs> well, you may think that I'm having a meal of food as well as blood, that my human appetite hasn't quite left yet. Truth is, it has. <laughs> See that chicken wing you're eating. It smells far more potent than when I than when I was a human. Look at it. I can tell you how many grains of salt lie upon its body. The detail I can perceive now are it's tremendous. But if I were to take a bite from that, it'd be as if I was eating paper. No nutrition whatsoever. Just empty nothing. My teeth are tearing through. <sighs> <laughs> like I've seen the rest of the clan eating. They have food all over the place. Their main hall is filled with more than, than most villagers get in a year. But I have no idea what they get out of it. Perhaps it's just for show? It's let them pretend? I don't know. Look. <laughs> I'm gonna just stop, just stop speaking. You must be starving. Eat. How's it taste? Delicious? <laughs> Looked lovely when I pocketed it. I chose the plumpest ones for you. The crispiest piece? <sighs> I'm so envious. I'm just imagining the texture of it in your mouth, the taste, 
Even the warmth of it in your hands. I can't feel any of that either. My skin's too tough. Too cold. It's like stone. No, don't stop. Continue. How's the orange juice? Good. I used to love drinking that when I was a kid. That's why I brought it. <laughs> My mother always left me a glass out for me in the morning with breakfast. And always told me a new day was dawning. Blood? Um, blood tastes rather tangy when we drink it. It's more of the refreshment that we crave when the... than the taste itself. Like when I first woke up, I first noticed how um, dry my throat was. Even before I opened my eyes, by the time I approached you, my whole body was like that. Like I even like I've been wandering the sun for hours that I had. I remember being so worried that that was how I'd be for the rest of my life. Hot, humid, uncomfortable. And then when I grew agitated, while we were speaking, I was terrified I'd never leave that frenzied madden state. But then I fed upon you. It was like it was normal again. I could catch my breath. Pretend the air filling my lungs had some function, that I had some purpose other than misery. Feeding. It, it's perhaps one of the only things that lets them forget what they are, even if it's the only for a moment. I can see why vampires. I can see why we crave it so much. Oh, you're done? Let me take that plate for you. <laughs> no, I don't have more. I'm sorry. I'll bring you some more later, though. Like I said, alright. In a couple days, if you'd like. Next time I can book a feeding. <laughs> Is there anything in particular that you're craving? Ah. Uh, company. <laughs> no. I have the same desire. I'm feeling lonely wandering around the castle. There's plenty of people around. Plenty. My... Plenty I share in common with. But I don't have the desire to speak to any. Considering the vast lives they have all lived, they're all rather... How do I... Boring. They're all boring. It seems that the only thing any of them ever talk about is either feeding... Conquering your politics. I don't care for any of them. Or even the ones discussing them. Like, I don't think they care for me either. They can so I don't want to be here. And I don't know how any of them well. But I'm beginning to think that most of them are born vampires. They were even... They were never even human. Don't ask me how that works, alright? I haven't had the courage to ask. Like, I see them looking at me as I pace the hallways. Walk across the main hall. Wander the castle grounds. It's like I'm some sort of creature to them. Something unknownable. Foreign. I'm just monstrous to them. And as they are to me. The only one who dares to approach me is Eldia. And I can't stand her. She's... She's twisted. Evil. The Baron's wife, if I forgot to mention. She takes joy in all the evil that the clan does. That's why she, she spends so much time around me. I think she wants to see if she can turn a human into one of them. Not just physically, but morally. And I fear that given the length of our lives, she may be someday succeed. But, but, I'm sorry, friend. <laughs> this is too far of a dark conversation. I enjoy our discussions because you remind me of what I was. Not of what I am. Please, tell me more about yourself. I knew you were captured while walking the path one dark evening, but... Where do you hail from? Oh... 
been there. It's lovely. Yeah, my mother took me when I was younger, and I remember how it looked over the ocean. The distant sun perfectly centered over the village square. It's one of my fondest days I can remember. But if you grew up there, you must have had a wonderful childhood. Where exactly did you... I walked by that house. Oh, it was beautiful. Sitting on top of that hill, beautiful colors flaring in the sunlight. I've never seen anything like that. Did you ever go to that shop, by the way? The one with those cinnamon swirls. Oh, dude, they were so good. God. I could go for one right now. Just remembering the taste. The slight spice, the smell. We should go. I'm craving them now. And, and because of my condition, I can no longer enjoy them. Then your situation doesn't allow you to leave the place. Nor does mine, for that matter. I have free reign of the castle, but they don't trust me enough to just leave yet. And certainly not with a prisoner. <sighs> Forgive my stupidity. I forget for a moment what I was. I'm getting us both excited over absolutely nothing. Look. Thank you for the conversation, human. But it may be our last. This is my life now. There's no curing it. Sitting here watching you eat, wishing I could do the same. It's not healthy. There's no point in pretending what I'm what I am and what I'm not anymore. I'm a vampire. Human no longer, and I need to accept that. So, goodbye. I really did enjoy talking to you. And I will miss our conversations. I love everyone in this castle. You. You were my favorite. Hey guys, Siri here. Um, I'm sorry about this audio. Um, my voice and my throat hurts a lot, so... <laughs> um, yeah, so it's kind of hard to talk. But I'm doing it because I love you guys. And I appreciate you guys for the supporting. So I have to, you know, I gotta do for y'all. Even if I don't sound my best right now. But, if you guys enjoyed this audio, you can let me know. Any way you think is fine, comment, subscribe, or just a like. Either one is fine. Um, love you guys. Thank you guys for everything. If you're listening to this as you're about to fall asleep, I hope you have a great sleep tonight. And you guys have a great day tomorrow. And as always, bye bye